Hey guys, it's Brianna and Jalen, and today we're going to be learning all together how to do a proper breast exam. Just to let you know, we're not doctors, obviously. I think this is one of the most important videos that I have made on my channel so far. I think it's very important and it's not talked about enough, giving yourself a breast exam and you know, just like normalizing, just feeling your boobs up, you know? <laughs> it's not a weird thing at all. Husbands, so. you're gonna love this video. <laughs> So I have my nice model right here. My boobs are not Time huge. To take Whoa, off the hold shirt. on. I didn't know we could put that on YouTube. That's a little bit ooh. I know. No, we have kidding. to censor it. Okay, so we're gonna leave some reliable sources down below. Jalen, take off your shirt. We're All right. doing a breast exam. We don't have to take it off, and I want to stretch yeah, it out. We're ah, taking it no, off. No. <laughs> Everybody, start dancing and singing. Take it off. Yeah, oh. take it off. Oh. And by the way, for anybody who wants to say, he's got a hairy chest. I try to shave my chest, honestly, sometimes, but she doesn't like it, so. Sorry. I gotta do what the wife likes. Basically, how I felt mine was, I just, can you be serious for two <laughs> seconds? Okay, okay, this is a serious video. Basically, what I did was I was feeling around my boobs, and I was feeling around my nipple, and I felt a lump. You can do circular motions, and also if you do feel something on one side, you might want to check the other because you do have muscle underneath all of the fatty tissue. So it might just be your muscle that you're feeling. So definitely, <laughs> if you feel something on one side, check the other. Feel around. Yeah, because if, it, if it's on both boobs, then it probably isn't like cancer or something like that. Because, you know, normally it doesn't happen exactly the same on each side, right? Yeah, and if you do feel a lump in your boob, obviously it's very, very scary. <laughs> but just know that you're not alone. When I posted that video, I was really scared because, you know, you, you never know what it is before you go see a doctor. I had so many comments of girls saying they went through the exact same thing and they got it removed and everything is fine now. And I think that's so amazing. Just have faith that it's nothing scary. And if we were acting a little bit like like happy in the video when that's like a serious video, it's because we were trying to remain positive yeah. in like a not so happy situation. So if you do find anything, don't be alarmed. Tell your parents, tell your husband, tell whoever is very close to you and- Yeah, and if, if you're like me, then you don't wanna tell anybody, you just wanna let it go away. Don't do that. Yeah. Because it could end up hurting you in the long run. It's always better to be safe than sorry. And I was talking to my mom about it too, and the exact same thing happened to her when she was my age. But she didn't even go see a doctor. And I'm like, Mom, you could have <laughs> saw a doctor. I would suggest doing it like as you're washing your body, just like, you know, every now and then, just like feel, rub. I know this might look awkward, but it's something that we all need to do. Like, it's not awkward at all. In front of a mirror, that's where I did mine, in front of a mirror. And also, I did notice when you lay down. So, when you lay down, you Hold you're... on, hold on. You have a bug flying around in Shut your hair. Shut up. I'm serious. <laughs> I felt it! <laughs> so, when you're laying down, your breasts are, like, flattened to your chest. And it's super easy to, like feel any lumps. Oh, you're just loving this. <laughs> Look, he had like a medical face. He's like, <laughs> Dr. White at your service. So like maybe before you go to bed or when you're getting unready for the night or getting ready for the morning or in the shower, once a week, once a month at the lowest, definitely always be checking. Very important and I don't want any of you to go through pain or anything bad and I want you to check as much as you can. Awareness is the best way to prevent something serious happening. It works better than any t sort of treatment or you finding it later on. And, and we're gonna be checking at least probably once a week, shoot. And you better be too. Oh, I'll be checking all the time on her. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you meant on me. Yeah. But can I check on you too? Maybe. Oh. So yeah, make sure you're checking once a week or once a month at, and go maybe go to the Twice doctor. Five times a month. 20 times a month if you have to. Yes. Maybe go to the doctor once every year. Yes. And just Always have your yearly checkup. I know it's easy to skip out on that and be like, oh, I'll just do it next year. Or, oh, yeah. I don't want to pay because that's what we do. We're like, oh. 
we don't want to paint the doctor. We're young. We're healthy. Yeah. <laughs> and by the way, if we're acting silly in this video, we're not taking this subject lightly. This is very yeah. serious topic, but you just want to bring like positivity to it because it can be a very, very scary thing. It's definitely a scary thing. And if you're dealing with that, just try to be positive, try to be happy. You know, I read, I read that, you know, a lot of the cancer survivor stories, a lot of them survived because they were in an environment of love and positivity. So, I don't know, I'm not a doctor, I can't say that that really does get rid of cancer, but it never hurts to laugh a little. So, yes. we are trying to make you laugh, we're trying to make it a little bit entertaining, we don't want to be like, right hand, left boob. And no. also, if you do feel a lump, there's a very, very, very low chance if you're under 30 or 40 that you, it will be breast cancer. So if you do feel something, don't automatically think it's breast cancer. That's the automatic, literally the automatic That's thought exactly is it when I you thought. find one, you're, you started bawling out. You're like, I'm gonna die. I'm, I'm too young. I'm too young. I'm like, babe, yeah. you'll be fine. If any of you guys have stories or if you want like if you felt a lump and you want us to keep you in our prayers, leave us a comment down below and we will pray for every single one of you. It would be amazing if you guys prayed for also the people who commented down below. Absolutely. So thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch. We'll also leave some reliable sources linked in the description so you guys can check out and you know, it'll go more in depth and that kind of stuff. Thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch and don't forget to subscribe. Woo! And we'll see you next time. See you guys.